Hello, Leo, and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This reading is for Leos. This is just whatever comes out for you guys as a general message. It will not resonate with all Leos. This is pretty much like the mid-month, the end of the month for Leos. Um, so whatever comes out, that's what we're going to move with. Whatever energies may be surrounding you. I am doing three cards from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And uh, the three cards, just to get an idea of what it is that Leo could be surrounding himself or herself with. All right. Okay. All right. So, Leo. Uh, if anything resonates with you, I should give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification, little, little bell button. So every time I upload, you will get notification of that. I tell people if you want to manifest an outcome or reading sounds like it's for you, thumbs up. Not just for me, but any reader that you read. Any reader, reader that you tune in or guided to watch their reading. Out of respect, if you like the time and energies or whatever it is that they put in it to deliver the message to you, that you give a thumbs up out of respect. Thank you, Leo. Now, let's get into your reading. I hope it is a good one. Leo, under the bottom, you have Crown Chakra. All right. So, if you are aware of your seven chakras, there's more than that. But the main chakras um, are in this... Um, tarot oracle deck because it's a tarot with oracle so some of these meanings do mean the same as in the tarot deck and the right away original tarot deck <clears throat> okay so the first card that you have is patience the second card is your base shocker so you're going to be dealing with some shockers here you gotta work on some some shockers or some of these shockers will be Balance or be you will be enlightened. So your crown chakra is the crown chakra on the top So that's information coming in and I can't help but to notice see how that purple Is right there on patience your first one is patience and then you have crown chakra So I'm feeling like there's some information gonna be coming in uh, to you and it may be coming in uh, Pretty quick even though it says patient. So whatever information that will be coming in to you You're gonna have to be patient with it uh, And it's going to have to do with your base chakra. So your base chakra is you know Like pretty much your last chakra Towards the back of the the root right? It's like your root chakra that helps keeps everything else in balance and things like that You're gonna read up on the base chakra, but uh, balancing things out so when I think of base chakra I always think of something that's going to be balanced out the way that it needs to be balanced out uh, and you need to be patient with that outcome that's what I'm saying so and it says the time <clears throat> the time uh, the time waiting game so but it's in reverse so <clears throat> soon very soon you won't have to be waiting on whatever this outcome leo that you are waiting on because the waiting game is over so when this is in the upright i'm telling you guys i'll be like oh my god how long how long looking at the sand go to the other side how long will it take it came out in reverse so that means that the waiting game is almost over so whatever leo you've been waiting on the outcome response or if there is something you've been waiting to respond to, to go towards, or if it's a relationship, it's walking away or coming towards, whatever it is, something maybe uh, that you really wanted to do or you had to do or you've been thinking about doing, the base chakra, you're going to be balanced. The crown chakra is going to come in. It's going to help you to move forward, but you just have to be patient because, and if you really look at this, you have these colors on both sides. So that's, um, if I switch them, like this, you have the colors on both sides. You have this side of the head, which is the waiting game, no more, which is less. And then over here, you have the crown shock of the information that's coming in, which is much more, which is going to help you to really go forth and make the decisions or the decisions will be made quickly. Okay, let's get into your tarot cards now, Leo. Let's just see what this is that we're wait, not waiting on or won't have to be waiting on 
much longer. Let's look at Leo's past energy in this situation, okay? So we got the seven of, uh, seven of wands, something that you were guarded about, uh, trying to defend or feeling like something, okay, definitely could be dealing with an earth sign, uh, Leo, let's see, and healing, okay, so under the bottom, so in the past, what I'm seeing, you got the, um, Ten of Wands. And this actually came out in your pre-shuffle when I was meditating, Leo. Um, in the past, Leo, it looks like um, there has been... Um, you have been guarded against... Looks could definitely be a wife or a long-term relationship, a long-term commitment that you have with someone. Uh, and you were guarded against them or they were guarded against you. And the reason they were guarded against you is because they were healing. Or you've been guarded because maybe you did not want to be uh, or deal or with this situation because you know that uh, you were healing. Okay? Because just because it's the Queen of Pentacles, I'm just feeling that there was someone in this situation very nourishing, healing. And you had your guard up against them, Leo. Now, this can definitely be in the past that they had their guard up against you. Maybe they didn't see you in that light. You could have fire and earth in your chart. Um, but, Leo, there was something that you were guarded about. But the the best thing in the past, somebody started healing, right? So, these is, these is, they may have been guarded. Maybe they was guarded against the fact of being a more nourishing person, a more understanding person, or maybe they were against accepting this nourishment. Someone was against it. They didn't want to accept They wanted it, but they didn't. Or they found it to be very, wow. I'm getting they found it to be very burdensome. Somebody wanted to nurture and help you, or you wanted to nurture and help someone and they just, they didn't want your help. They found it to be very burdensome dealing with you. And this is past energies. But someone during this whole process either had a wish fulfillment, fulfilled now, and have moved on. And I'm looking at it like they don't really care about the guards that's up because they're now nurturing themselves and their healing and getting their wish fulfillment. So, Leo, it could have been you was guarded against someone like that. And now they're moving on. And could have been a wife for sure. Because it looks like the mother type. The, You know, could definitely be the father. Could be the husband. Just, you know, we just, we're not talking gender here. We're talking about masculine and feminine. Could definitely be a female Leo um, that... In the past, um, someone could have wanted to um, nurture. It could have been same-sex relationship. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying in the past, someone was guarded towards someone that was very nourishing. But this person has went off and healed and working on their wish fulfillment. Definitely could be someone that was guarded against being very nourishing and uh, healing. That just didn't want to make the changes. It was a burden. It was like the Ten of Wands. It was, it, was, it was like too much for them to make the change in their life. To be this um, person that you might have wanted them to be. Let's see. So, let me see something. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here, Spirit? Yeah, the Empress. So, yeah, someone was totally guarded about maybe even commitment, being married. <sighs> guarded against this person's abundance. Didn't want to share it with them. I mean, set in their ways, just was like, no, I don't want your love. I don't want 
your nourishment, nourishing. I don't want your pinnacles. I don't want anything. It was like someone was guarded. They did not want anything. And you were trying to give so much or they had so much to give. And Leo, you just did not want it. I don't know. This this is strange. Okay. What? Yeah. I'm getting this is all about literally a relationship. Uh, sharing a cup of love. Somebody was guarded. Hmm. I'm also getting. We got the Empress and then we got the Queen of Pentacles. There could have been third party relationship. So we had an Empress, right? With all the twos. And Leo, you want to share your life with the Empress and offer your cup. And you were guarded against the Queen, which the Queen was probably the wife. Very nourishing. He, but they they are healed and moved on from this. Now it could be you, Leo. It could have been you in the third party. Someone did you this way. Perhaps they had, you know, um, two earth signs, and they want to walk away from a marriage, and it was guarded against healing and working this marriage out because they wanted to offer their cup of love to someone else, which was the empress that they seemed to be more nourishing and fulfilling to them. So they was against that, re fixing that relationship with you, whether that's you or the person you were dealing with, Leah. Okay, let's just see what else. Why is the star card here, Spirit? Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? There you go, Leo, the fire sign. So, all right. So I'm just telling the scenario as it's coming in to me as I'm seeing it. Leo, either you're dealing with another Leo like yourself. If you are not dealing with another Leo like yourself in the past, you had a choice of two people. One, you may have been in a marriage, a commitment or a long-term relationship. Someone else came in and you wanted to... If, I mean, you found them, I guess, more abundant, more nourishing or whatever situation and you wanted to offer your couple loves to them. Because here you sit this way looking towards this situation and guarded towards this situation. So, but, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> Sometimes things happen in life for a reason. Uh, maybe you guys, you know, doesn't matter sometimes how nourishing people is for one another or trying to be there for one another. Uh, if their energies don't match, their energies don't match. Okay? So, but the good thing about this, Leo, what you need to know is that this person that you were guarded about, this queen, she is now healed and having wish fulfillments. She also has healed over what you have done or whatever actions that was did from this fire sign in the past. And that's just what the message came in to me. And perhaps um, wherever this situation sits in the future, perhaps it will work out. I don't know. But under the deck, it doesn't look like. Because it's the Eight of Cups. Walking away. Mm. Okay, so. Now, is it, Leo, you are debating? Or perhaps you have healed now, and you now... <clears throat> okay, let me get... Jeez, jeez, jeez. All right. Le <laughs> Whoever this person is now, Leo, in your life, whether you or the person you was dealing with, is now debating on walking away from these options. This option of having that thing. Or walking away because now they feel that this situation perhaps was an illusion. And there's a lot of conflict in it. And somebody's going within looking for answers. <clears throat> because they are lonely and sad and hurt 
about the decisions that has been made in the past. And somebody is walking away from a situation. Now, the other thing I see either is this earth sign that is now healing and everything and walking away from the hurt and the pain and fine, you know, moving forward and realizing that um, that whole relationship, maybe they feel it was just an illusion. It was conflict. They went in and they are healed. And now that's why they're working on their wish fulfillments on itself. You know, thanking the Lord that they made it through the hurt and pain. But this is a person that truly, this is the three of swords. There was a third party. This is a person that truly was uh, hurt over this situation of it not coming together and having to walk away. The other way I see it, Leo, and I'm just telling you how I see it. You have <clears throat> decided that the relationship you let, you was guarded against maybe someone you was with in, at first, long term or marriage. And then you went towards this other relationship that looks like the Empress. It was an imposter. It was an imposter. <laughs> or perhaps it was. It could have been the Empress. But again, energies need to match. So if they were the Empress and you were the Queen, uh, King, uh, look, Queen, doesn't matter, Queen, King, whatever. If you were the King of Wands and you still had that whole. Uh, mentality that in and out can't make decisions or uh, things like that. The emperor wasn't going to deal with that just as the queen of pentacles dealt with it, would deal with it longer than the empress would because the empress has all the tools they need. They don't have to accept anything and they know they worth. Not the, the queen of pentacles don't know it, but the fact that perhaps this was a long committed standing relationship, they may have worked on it um, and put a little bit more effort in there due to the fact not that they couldn't take care of themselves and nourish themselves, but they're so nourishing that they give people chances and opportunities over and over. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing Leo. So you have now realized that that relationship due to your energy could have been why it did not work out. Right. Because then you realize that was not it and you want to walk away and realize that this was illusion. It's a lot of conflict and you've been going in here. That is the scenario that I see here, Leah. Um, and we are now definitely thinking about going back to somebody from the past. Six of Cups. So, I don't know if this is you, Leo, or the person you're dealing with. But let me see if I can get some more advice. So, we got the Ace of Pentacles. We got the Hermit. I told you, someone was going with them. And then we got the King of Cups. One more. All right. Okay. It just hit me and it, it hit me fast. Okay. Someone's trying to go back to the past. But what you need to know that the universe has already took care of that door and closed it. This person could definitely be this queen. Uh, <laughs> this queen of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo definitely could have received a gift from the universe and they are probably seeing someone else and already in a relationship and not only in it the relationship is strong so i don't know who did what and who is planning on running in looking looking like this that's that's like looking like a clown and, and leo if it's on the opposite side leo, somebody if you're dealing with another fire sign or just somebody who likes to run in and out with their energies or made this decision on you you do not have to worry about them because this is how they're going to come running in. Look at, to me, that's just always show up. Can you see me with these bright colors? Yeah, I see you. But close the door before they get here. Let the drawbridge down, right? Because I see you coming way across the field. I'm just saying. This person has got a gift from the universe, a fresh new beginning. They have did a lot of soul searching. They've done a lot of healing. And this could actually be... Uh, if this is you, Leo, this could dis definitely be what the universe is sending you in. A, a king of cups that has healed, went within on your same level, understands how you have healed, right? Because these are uh, healing cards, right? Or going in searching for something, wish fulfillment, right? This is wish fulfillment. This is from the universe. This is healing. The Hermit card is always reflecting within, definitely dealing with a Virgo. 
or a Virgo that have fire in their chart or uh, a Leo with earth in their chart. It could be either one, right? So it can go either way, wherever you fit. Don't make yourself fit in this story. But someone left someone, and it could have been a third party, and moved on and healed, and the universe is taking care of them. And this other person realized that that was not what they wanted, and it is too late because the universe says it's too late. So they could go running in all they want, but it is too late. Okay? So, at the end of my readings, I always do this to try to give some extra guidance. If you are dealing with an earth sign, uh, doing this situation, spirit guides, please give me a card if they are dealing with an earth sign. It is, if you're dealing with an earth sign, it is the Ten of Cups, honey. Honey, and you just, I, I can't make it up. If you're dealing with an earth sign, keep moving. Keep moving. If you are now being committed to a earth sign, honey, they got the ten of cups. You got, get your cup up in there. And the reason why, if it's a water sign, if it's this this cup of love being offered, this king coming in offering this cup, it is a judgment. That was a judgment made for you to get the love you deserve. I'm just saying. I'm moving on. If it is a fire sign like yourself that you are dealing with, Leo. Give us guidance. Give us guidance, spirit. Please give us guidance to Leo. Earth sign, Leo, Virgo, and Leo. I whatever. Get it together, y'all. Because this is all here. It, hermit. Earth. Fire and earth. Went within healing. Look. You can't make it up. Air. You are dealing with an air sign. Leo, if it is an air sign you are dealing with, it is the Ten of Wands. I don't know if that's what you left behind to move forward and find what it is that you wanted or whatever the situation is, but this is the Ten of Wands. And that can also mean the end of burdens because once you drop them burdens, that 10 turns to a 1. That's a fresh new beginning also. And, and that could mean the end of that burden and that heartbreak that you was going through. Or somebody about to be burdened because they about to get a heartbreak. Because what they thought they was going to backtrack on, the universe has closed that door on it. I am just the messenger. That is all that I am. And I am nothing more but to deliver the message to you guys. If this resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, this could be a good outcome for some and not for others. Um, please hit the notification button so that you do not miss any uploads from me in the upcoming um, year. <laughs> so thank you, Leo, and I wish you luck with this love and light.